So I have been trying to reverse engineer like how I am as a human being because so many people are always like, how do you do it? And I'm like, I don't know. I wake up and I just do it. And I feel probably just as crazy as you do. And I think that that's life. We all are in life and we all have challenges. They all look different, but it's literally life is like a journey of just becoming a better version of yourself and getting a better grasp on how to manage your mind. I believe that's like the journey of life. Like it's like it looks different for all of us, but we all struggle in our own mind. And so... <clears throat> Because I get that question so often, but I don't internally feel like some sub, like superhero, like more so than anybody else. And I think we're, oops, sorry, we're all equally super, like just crazy powerful people. I've been trying to reverse engineer how I think. So here was an example that I thought I could share. So to Erilyn, my second daughter, her birthday is on Monday. It's a holiday. So unfortunately it didn't fall on the day that we could bring in like cupcakes or whatever she wanted to bring in so <clears throat> we're doing it we decided to do it on friday because they have star of the week and the week that you're star of the week you get to bring in like a snack to share with the class so plus she wanted to share her sister which go check out my story after this it's so cute i mean i only posted a quick like 15 seconds but it was the cutest thing ever but anyway she wanted to share noli so I was like, Barry, we can, I can bring Noli in, we can do your cake, or cupcakes or whatever you want for your birthday and it'll all be great on Friday. So that was the plan. Okay, bad mom situation number one. This morning when I, um, this morning when I dropped her off, we were running late per usual. And so I was like, I'm gonna just bring the cookies when I come to your class cause we were gonna do it. What is wrong? what's wrong we were gonna do her cookies at the end of the day like right when the school is getting out so i was like i'm gonna bring your cookies don't worry just leave them i don't want to we're rushing i don't want you to drop one of them and she's like i have another bag so i'm like trying to be i'm striving to be more conscious and aware of my reactions of like control in the moment of like don't worry just do it like this so we can hurry up because we're always rushing and so i'm like okay she wants to put them in her bag put them in the bag like she doesn't have to do it my way so i was proud of myself for that so she put them in the bag thank god and <clears throat> takes them to her class but I didn't bring the napkins because I was planning on bringing the napkins after school when I got there so all day I'm thinking like I'm not gonna be late I'm late to almost everything but I'm not gonna be late because I'm just not gonna be late so I'm gonna be on time well um as I I'm getting sidetracked okay so here it's time to go and get to the school but I was on I did one of the calls <clears throat> so if you saw that I posted that I'm oh my gosh <clears throat> I'm struggling right now I posted in my email and then on my my Instagram that I'm taking as like I five was like like as many spots as I could fill but like I'll take as many as I can take until my my calendar fills up in those hours that I have available to get strategy calls with you guys to basically like where are you stuck can i help you nope i can't help you but i know someone who can or whatever but i'm just committed to helping as many women as possible not wait until the new year like my calendar is like vision board party on december let's get ready for the new year then my programs start in january but i don't want people to have to wait to start getting results in their life so i want to do these calls hear where you're stuck dive into your life hi dad love you too and then help you get like some type of re like result that you can put into your life. So I had one of those calls and that was from like one to, yeah, it was from like one to about two and then I was just gonna load up and go. But I got off the phone and then um, <clears throat> I started like feeling like, oh, okay, I have enough time. So I started moving around, getting this, getting that. Noli was asleep, so I'm like, let me just let her sleep and then um, I'll take her. So I'm giving you guys all this backstory because what happens is I leave my house at like 
to let's just say like 20 and I'm supposed to 22 and I'm supposed to be there at 2 30 so by the time you load kids in car seats and then unload them in car seats and then you have two-year-olds like walking at their pace and you're carrying a baby and all this stuff I was like oh my gosh so I text the teacher and I'm like I'm running a little bit late I'm gonna be like a couple minutes late but I'm coming so then I get stopped in the parking lot one of the parents starts talking to me oh the baby da 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 so now I'm like 10 minutes late and it's like 2:40, and school gets out I think at like 2:45. so I'm thinking like we still have to share the baby we still have to eat the cookies we still have to do all this stuff so I make it in the class and let me just give you more backstory not more but like a quick side another side note Noli was wearing um uh, like her little cocoon like sleep thing I hadn't changed her from the night before and she had taken a nap I don't know what I guess it was like my subconscious I don't know or, I mean it was God like my spirit like same thing in my opinion like well not the same thing but it was my it was my it was the something inside of me that um was like change her put her in clothes because I wasn't even remembering that I had to take Noli for share day I was just thinking we had to be there at 2 30 to do cookies for the birthday party so luckily I changed Noli because it was share day that was like the highlight of Barry's day and I totally just thank God changed her because she almost just went in her PJ she would have still been super cute but whatever so that's just another side note of like little things and the, my point of sharing this story is to, to get you guys into my head of like how serious we take our life as parents and how so much stuff is not that serious like had I taken Nola to the classroom in her pajamas those kids would not have noticed they would have thought she was the cutest thing and they wouldn't even have thought twice about oh she brought her in her pajamas like they're the cutest pajamas like so what so that's number one like we put so much pressure on ourselves and this is what I, the reason why I'm sharing it because I'm trying to debunk this thought that people come to me all the time like how do you do it I do it because I am not perfect and I do not stress over the little things so it was just by the grace of God that I actually put her in cute clothes which never happens like she wears the same thing my mother-in-law does our laundry and she told me the other day she was like I put the um the new clothes on the top and the ones I wash on the bottom so that you could recycle and like basically she was telling me like so you can stop putting her in the same outfits like all the time and I'm like oh so anyway so I get to the school I finally make it in the room and Barry is so excited to see us and everything is going smooth like no one's even like oh she's late they didn't know I was late like it's just whatever I am not condoning the being late actually being on time is one of my um, goals for this coming year and I'm starting now to work on it but like so I'm not saying it's okay to be late but I'm just saying like I was stressing about it and the kids didn't even notice so then we go into the sharing and I'm like Barry like um, take because they the kids got to take questions so I'm like take a couple more questions and then like we can do your cookies and she was like we already did our cookies so side note number two <laughs> this is what i'm wearing i told you guys i wear this great i mean this is a different gray sweater but i wear this like same old beat up outfit this is how i looked and in my mind i was like i should get dressed i should put on something cute like i should go to party city and buy bury like a little crowd and some balloons and like make it like this whole thing but then that got put out the window when Indy had a little accident I had to get her changed up so then leaving at two o'clock turned into 2 15 and then I had to gather oh shoot Indy needs snacks because she can't eat the cup the cookies so then I had to gather that's how it got to be like 2 22 when I started thinking of those things and so anyways I was again putting mom guilt on myself to don't go to the school looking crazy you should get dressed but I'm like you know what that's ridiculous like that is not a thing that's not important and me being dressed a certain type of way is not going to change the experience that my daughter has and I was literally like well the camera's not going to be on me anyways it's going to be on them so I, I went like this so um it just like I have a moral <laughs> so getting back to the party I missed the cut the cookie so here I'm thinking this whole time we're gonna do cookies but because I was late they had to do everything like they did everything because they were just trying to kill time so that I could make it at least to do the baby sharing so here's my point of the story and here's what happened Barry had such a good time she loved sharing her baby sister she when when she said like mom we already did the cookies she wasn't like we did the cookies and you missed it she was like we already did the cookies like we're good like stop tripping and so I wanted to paint this picture to you guys and this is this is 
this is an opinion, so you don't have to agree with this, but in my in my story, I wrote like, bad mom, good mom, it's all perspective and it's preference. So like, if your preference is to be dressed up, then you're gonna feel worse about going and looking like me. My preference is I, I have on my vision board goals is to have like a closet where literally the only things that are in it are cute. So there's no choice but to be cute all day, every day. But for me, I like save my cute stuff for when I'm going somewhere and then I wear like around the way stuff so that I can just wear it out and not worry if I spill milk on it or whatever. And so like, like I have goals and vision, but it's not my preference. But like, or if your preference is to be at every single like game or every single classroom party or every single moment, then that's your preference. But for me, it it's more rewarding to me that I got to be on a call. So instead of getting ready, because I had a very short window today to take those calls, the calls that I'm doing, I'm literally basically saying, take up my free time that I could be working for the next month. I'm going to take these calls five a week or whatever and and give you guys my free time that I would be showering before I go pick up my kids for school for their party or um, you know, working on this or working on that. I'm gonna give because I really want to see the power of how I can impact a number of lives. And I really wanna see like, I implemented what you taught me and this is how my life changed. So that rewarding feeling to me of changing lives is so much more rewarding and important than looking cute at my daughter's school or being there for the cookie pass around that she didn't even care that it was there for and so again this is opinion but i want to just in case you didn't know um i think we put so much pressure on ourselves as parents to be at every single thing every single game like i used to want to be like i'm never gonna miss a game like how could i miss a, a soccer game but now if i have a business over that i'll choose it like i balance it out but but I miss soccer games or I miss certain things because to me, like living on purpose and having vision and doing things that are in alignment with that vision is far more important than my kids remembering that I never miss a soccer game or that I was at every single birthday party or um, every single field trip. Like obviously I go to most all of them, but if I miss one, I don't beat myself up. I don't feel like a bad mom. And so I wanted to just give you guys permission to... <clears throat> know that it's okay to have vision for your life and then make decisions sometimes that are in line with your vision and not just in line with oh i have to be there for my kid 100 percent of the time and not everyone's gonna agree with this like this but i promise you that there's no way to have everything to have like be the everywhere mom have like a thriving business or like passion project and be the the, the wife and the this and the that without letting every single person in the other areas of your life know that you have other priorities on your plate as well. And so I just, that, that was the moral of that long old story was, it's okay. Like I missed my daughter's, like her birthday's not even today. Do you think when she's grown and old that she's gonna look back? Ugh, hold on. Do you think she's gonna look back? Ugh, hold on. Hold on, sorry. Hold on, Mindy. Okay, hold on. Bad mom moment. One second. Yeah, I was I was doing a call outside. What do you need? Moral of the story was, do you think that when she looks back at her life, she's going to say, my mom missed my first grade cookie pass around, or she's going to say, my mom changed so many lives and helped so many people and um, showed me what it's like to set vision for my life and to go after it because the reality is, is when our kids leave our home at 18 or whatever age they're on their own and and we're not the, the center of their life anymore so we can't raise them thinking that uh, that that's how it is and again not everyone's gonna agree with this but I am sharing this because I believe that in order to have it all one of the things that you have to give up is the perfection of of just being perfect and feeling like you have to be perfect and I think that that's kind of what people are looking at when they think like how do you do it they must think that I'm at every single this and every single that and my house is always clean and my husband is always satisfied and all these things and it's just not the reality there's always something bleeding in order for you to chase your dreams and have the life of your dreams something has to bleed something has to be sacrificed and so sometimes it it, it, it involves missing things that your kids do as well. Yeah, I'm done.